Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here and welcome back to my art channel. It's been a while. Today I have a Tropical Cells ribbon abstract painting. For this technique, I'm going to be using the Artist Loft pre-mixed paints. Um, I find those paints for this technique and for swiping techniques really, really nice. So these are the colors I'm going to be using in this order, purple, white, blue, and yellow. Apparently I was going to use aqua and changed my mind. And I also felt the need to draw a tentacle, as you do. I'm also going to be using two drops of the treadmill silicone in just the white. And I am doing this recording uh, after I've already had the painting done. So if I could change something, I know exactly what I would change. And we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that a little bit later. I also want to say that I haven't been filming a lot of my paintings because when I'm not using the pre-mixed paints, I'm usually mixing them myself with a painting medium like Floetrol. And Floetrol had been my go-to medium. It's, it's a go-to medium for a lot of people. And as luck would have it, I've had, I mean, it's not even luck. It's the most unfortunate bad luck would have it. I kept getting bad batches of Floetrol just over and over again. And I know that's not, uh, I'm not the only one that that's been happening to. A lot of people have been getting bad batches of Floetrol. And when that happens, the binding in the medium breaks apart and it doesn't hold its rings. It doesn't hold its shape. And at first I thought, oh my God, I'm a terrible painter. What's going on? I've lost my groove or, or something. It just seemed like it couldn't have been bad luck because it kept happening. I had like three batches in a row. So I had stopped filming my paintings because I was pumping out rubbish, not knowing that it was in fact the Floetrol. Uh, so for this one, I, I did get, I did find some other mediums that I've been using, so I will start filming them again. For this one, I'm, I am using the pre-mixed paints. Oh my god, look at that flip cup, you guys! It is so beautiful! So when I do the flip and drag with the pre-mixed, I always take the bottom of what's in the cup and I always do ribbons. I don't know why I'm doing cur curly cues there. It turned out to be a mistake. I thought it was gonna look like so cool. I had saw another artist do curly cues and I'm like, ooh, I want those. I want those winding curly thingies. And uh, without practicing beforehand, I just kind of went for it. And yeah, you can also, if you run out of the paint at the bottom of your cup, you can always just mix more. Uh, so I am, I, I did mix just a little bit more and now I will tilt it for you guys. Enjoy! As you can see, my curly cues turned out very bizarre, so I decided to go ahead and put a couple more ribbons in it. I felt that I had lost a lot of my yellow, I had, I had a lot of negative space, and the ribbons, because I tilted them a lot, kind of started fading into the background. So I wasn't quite happy with that. I added another ribbon with the what was it, whatever was left in the bottom of the cup, and then I'm just kind of trying to tilt it again, seeing if I can get you know, some shape with that. But yeah, those those curly cues, the little circles on the right, <laughs> those did not turn out. In retrospect, I probably should have done that after I was tilted, a after I tilted a little bit more, just so they wouldn't stretch out. So at this point, I'm thinking I don't have enough yellow. So what I did was I layered, I layered white, purple, yellow just a little bit at the bottom of the cup and there there I go again with the curly things I don't I don't know why <laughs> and honestly I think I should have stopped here with the ribbons because I don't even know if I should have tilted because I love how that looks the contrast with the purple and the yellow ribbons it definitely brings a little bit of push and pull to the illusion because now it looks like the original ribbons I laid down before I tilted it, those kind of look like they're in the background and the yellow ones that I did now look like they're in the foreground. And I really like what I did here. I should have kept it, but I didn't. 
So enjoy this next section where I have no chill. So yeah, I am now adding cells with my heat gun and I'm trying to get some of those negative spaces. As you can see the cells, they start growing right away because of the silicone. I put two drops of silicone in the white and so these cells should be multicolored. I think where I went wrong here was in that corner. The I, I know it, there's kind of a glare in that corner coincidentally from the from the lights. But that little yellow corner where I put like this very weird round shape, I don't think that was necessary. I don't think I should have done that. I think it was fine before that. So I'm trying really hard to coax more cells out of this area and I can't, I can't do it. And I think that's because I put down the purple first. And I think I would have had better luck getting bigger cells and more control of the cells in these negative spaces where they're clearly not coming up. I think that it would have been better if I had put the color, which was white, with the silicone down first and then the purple on top of that. So I am going to do another painting. I don't know if I'll film it or not, but I'm going to do another painting where I use these colors again because I adore this palette. I think it is gorgeous. And then we'll see if the cells react differently. Actually, I guess the colors would react somewhat differently if I laid down the white first, but we'll, we'll have to see. I'll probably take a few pictures and post them on Insta or Twitter. Overall though, I really like this painting. <laughs> Here's the close up here. I love that purple. Purple and yellow mix very, very well together. They kind of create, these kind of stay distinct because I added the ribbons after the fact, but when they blend very slightly, you just get this really beautiful color, kind of this pinky coral color. I really like a lot of the cells, especially the, the perfectly round ones in yellow. Some of them are very strangely shaped and I am, I'm still baffled as to why I put so many curly things. I, I have no chill when it comes to curly things. Overall though, I like it. Obviously there are things I would have done differently, especially looking at the dry version here. I think I would have stretched out that really thick ribbon right here so that the bottom wasn't so blocky. I would probably put the white color down first and then try to coax out bigger cells. So I've definitely learned a lot doing this. Like I said, putting the ribbons before the tilt and after the tilt, I think gave a great push and pull effect. Overall, I'm really happy with the painting. I just want to try again with this technique and see if I can do it even better and get closer to my goal. And that's what it's all about. You have to just keep trying, fail in some parts, succeed in other parts and try again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.